Hello, this is your friendly neighbor, Dr. Jimmy128, and I'm going to bring to you a 1 vs. 1 between the blue Protoss Cube Bishop and the red Protoss Cube Rexilius, Team Cube in the house. So, yes, it's going to be a Brotoss vs. Brotoss Cube Bishop, one of Team Cube's best players. He is currently in the Masters League, I think he's ranked about top 50 or something. And Cube Rexilius, one of our better. Protoss players as well. He is currently diamond, but now with his internet back, he should be able to get to uh, playing games more and hopefully making it to the Masters and Grandmasters League. I think it is, I said Cube was Mass, uh, Bishop was Masters. No, he is actually a Grandmaster! Top 50, top 60, or whatever, somewhere around there. These are two of Cube's best Protoss players. Rexilius um, has made a lot of appearances. Uh, in the uh, Philippine Starcraft scene, he he won a couple of uh, Wawa Quickly tournament rounds. He made the finals like three times, I think, and then uh, won it won won the entire round. Something I'm not exactly sure, but he did win one of the uh, Wawa legs. And yeah, you can actually check those games out at YouTube.com/slash Wawa Starcraft. <laughs> Shout out to Wawa. And yes, these two Protoss players have almost identical builds right now: the Gateway and the uh, uh, the Gateway and the assimilator going down. However, Exilius did grab his gate at at 12, and um, Bishop grabbed his gate at around 13. So uh, Exilius's Rixis, I'll just call him Rixi. Rixi Cybercore should be up in about. A little bit more earlier compared to Cube Bishop or Bishops. Thus, um, he'll Rexilius will be able to uh, get his stalkers much faster. Um, but yeah, but looking at the uh, looking at the timings now for these gateway uh, for these cyber gates, they're actually absolutely the same. So that will not matter. I eat my words. Let's check out the APM a bit. Yahoo! Right, so both players are currently even, and a little bit of lag there from uh, both players. I mean, from one of the spectators, I guess. Looks like these two pros are just chasing each other. Cybercars now going down, coming in, gateway. Warp gate now being researched. Rexilis does get his warp gate though, uh, slightly ahead. The bishops. Warp gate is gonna be a couple of seconds delayed, around 20, 21 seconds delayed, but that should, that could mean a lot, especially at this high level of play. And uh, could Cube Bishop possibly go four gate? Will Lucidus go three gate expand or maybe blink or I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. I just want to tell you guys. <laughs> yeah. It is like we have a couple of stalkers here. A stalker here coming out for Cube Bishop. And uh, Rexilius trying to send out his first two units as well, just to apply a little bit of pressure and possibly uh, make an attack. And here we go. Uh, this, the two soccer are gonna counter on the on the uh, center of the map. The pro here gonna chase that other the soccer as well. However, uh, Rexilius will get uh, a free pro kill there from Bishop. Bishop now out with two soccer's. And he, they do encounter each other. Bishop does have the stalker advantage. Rexilius will need to pull this stalker away before it dies. So it does die. So uh, Rexilius now without a single stalker. Bishop has three stalkers. This one zealot here just going to be sacrificed so that the probe can run away. The probe should run away. Run away probe. Run away for your life. Run away. Run away. Get to production tab. We have three stalkers now being warped in for Rexilius. They should even the stalker count. And we have a Twilight Council coming up for for Bishop. Rexilius already has his Twilight Council though, so both players going for the exact same build. They'll be going for Blink Stalkers. So it's going to come down to Micro. Let's see which player has better Micro here. In this, will it be Rexilius or will it be uh, Bishop? However, Bishop's third gate is rather late. Rexilius already has three gates, so this um, he will be able to spend. As you can see here on the uh, production tab, Rexilius is spending his... Uh, is spending his resources more efficiently because of that third gate. However, Bishop is uh, get getting a rather you know getting excess gas because he only has two gates compared to Resilius's three. Both players are now currently boosting out their blink. 
ability. Well, looks like these uh, we're gonna have an engagement right there in the middle. Resilience has three stalkers, uh, five stalkers here for for Bishop, but Bishop doesn't see this. Bishop doesn't see this. A little bit of a miss micro there from Bishop. So Resilience may be able to get a, a three more shots, which is very very crucial here. The stalker count four Protoss versus Protoss is very very important. Uh, most of the time, the more if you have more stalkers, then most likely you will win with proper micro. One thing that Resilience could do is uh, make these stalkers go in a line, as what the Liquid Hawk likes to do. He likes to line them up one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and move them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, easily micro. Going to the uh, unit stab. Unit stab. Pile on up here for Resilius. The Resilius has 10, now 11 stalkers, and um, Bishop only has around 9, but he does have a Zelt in the center. He can force field this if done correctly. Here come the uh, stalkers. No, Resilius unable to blink. His first stalker, he blinks out the other three. And the B bishop does blink inside, however he loses another stalker right here. Regina has only lost currently two stalkers. And there we go, the, there's not much micro here except for the blink. Bishop now not using his blink micro. A little bit of another, a little bit of his micro there. Nice job there by Regina saving the, uh, saving as many stalkers as possible. The stalker count is just about, it is in Regina's favor. And warp, uh, Chrono Boost now being used on the Warp Gates. Pretty tight situation here. Uh, Regilius is trying to warp in two Zealots and a Stalker. Sa uh, and uh, Bishop also has the same idea. Gun is the, le the, the Zealous to, to tank most of the Stalker fire. And Regilius does blink in. He does take out the Stalker. He takes out both Zealots. Both Zealots also going down for Regilius. However, Regilius has a Stalker advantage. And he, this looks bleak for our uh, Protoss Grandmaster. Regilius there just overpowering in the micro and uh, whatever it looks like uh, Bishop is now forced to pull his probes off the line looks like we have a pylon here being set up by Bishop but I wonder if that's going to work because Bishop is gonna lose all of his probes to these stalkers and Bishop has absolutely no more resources with only a couple of probes mining these zealots are going to wipe out every single probe the stalkers will go down and Q Bishop GG is out of the game so excellent job there by Rigzilius out microing our Grandmaster hero. And there you go, a nice little big soccer fight right there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that team cube, lots of love. I love you so much. And yeah, this has been your friendly neighbor, Dr. Jimmy, signing off. Bye bye.